Okay, let's try, let's try this last question here. It says, determine the area of triangle DRT. DRT. We're going to have to figure out the, 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 um, the area of this triangle. Well, we'd like to figure out the base uh, and then times the height, and it would be a half the base times the height. Well, the, this part here, um, TR, looks pretty easy because this is perpendicular, so it goes straight up right below it. This R must be minus 2 and 0. So this whole length here goes from 0 to 8. So the height of this triangle is 8. That's pretty easy. <coughs> but we've got to figure out what D is. Well, we've got the equation of the um, line TP. So this D is really the x-intercept. What's an x-intercept? We let y equals 0. Well, then we subtract 18 from both sides and then divide by 5. This coordinate right here is minus 18 over 5. But the r coordinate is minus 2 and 0 because it's right directly below, perpendicular, straight below t. Well, how do we find this distance? All we do is subtract. We go minus 2, minus, minus 18 over 5, and we'll get the distance here. Well, minus 2 is really minus 10 over 5. Minus, minus means plus 18 over 5. Minus 10 plus 18, that's 8 over 5 units. Well, here we go. That's 8 over 5 units. So all we have to do is go half the base times the height. 1 half times 8 over 5 times 8. Well, 8 times 8 is 64. 2 times 5 is 10. 64 divided by 10 is 6 comma 4 square units. There's the area of triangle DRT. So you break it up. And you just think to yourself, okay, um, what's the height? What's the base? One half the base times the height. And it's a, a little bit um, tricky figuring it all out. But you'd never get at this D. You have to realize that it's an x-intercept. And you've got to find the x-intercept of the equation they gave you. And there you go. That's 2.5.